Oh, Rob, check this out. Look at this. It's a full-on hmm? petrified dinosaur bone fossil. You know, life today only represents a tiny fraction of the diversity of life that existed throughout the world's past. Whoa. This is so cool. Okay, say, say that again as a question. Go ahead. Oh, okay, like... What do you think is the most diverse group of organisms that has ever lived in the Earth's history? Awesome, that's good. So let's go find out the answers right now. missed anything? You're good. It's just about to start. Oh, right on, my fellow black terrier. Look at him. So limited. Aerial attack! Woohoo! Jeepy mosquitoes to everywhere. Think they stand a chance against my cousins there? This is crazy. The slightest smell of food, and these guys are everywhere. How do they do ah, it? They wouldn't even smell that food if it was placed behind them. I bet you my right antenna I could find it from the other side of the forest. Oh, isn't this strange? We travel all over the world searching for animals, and whether we like it or not, we always end up with these stupid bugs. I mean, who do they think they are? Only been around for the last three million years, and they still don't understand who rules the world. Maybe they aren't so stupid after all. Guys, I can't stand this. I gotta find out more. I'll see you later. Wait! Defeated! Go Insecta! Museum of Natural History. That should be a good place to start. So it seems that insects dominate the world of animal diversity. In fact, they make up more than 70% of all the known species on the planet. So what makes these groups so diverse, abundant, and successful? Hmm. So to answer some of my questions, I'm here with Dr. Kevin Holston at the Zoological Museum of Lund University. Okay, so first things first, what is an insect? Uh, an insect? is uh, a, gr a group of animals within this larger group uh, called arthropods. Insects are characterized by having a head, thorax, and abdomen, and on the thorax they have three pairs of legs. Most of the insects also have a very special feature that not a lot of animals have, which is the wings. These are also on the thorax, uh, but there's some groups of insects that don't have wings. It's a very diverse group. Uh, we're talking about millions of species. So Kevin explains to me how extremely successful this group of animals really is. Fossil records have shown that insects have lived on the planet for millions and millions of years, long before any vertebrates like mammals or birds were even around. Today, we have a few thousand mammals described on the planet, while the most diverse group of insects, the beetles, includes a few hundred thousand species. Many theories exist about adaptations that led to the amazing diversity of insects. One was the evolution of flight, which enabled the insects to spread to almost all habitats. Insects also developed a variety of ways to respond to stimuli, such as specialized chemoreceptors that smell pheromones. These receptors are so sensitive that some insects can smell scents from a mile away. Insects have also evolved a whole range of different mouth parts to specialize in different food sources. Additionally, insects go through several stages in their life cycle, feeding on different things which is another great adaptation when competing for resources. Ow! Ow! Ah, take that, you little bugger! I know why they call them bugs, because they bite and sting. I don't know, we don't just get rid of them. Insects are very important for us economically, uh, actually culturally as well, but also uh, medically. Uh, there are a lot of insects that transmit uh, diseases to people. 
uh, malaria is one of the very big examples of that. So these insects that have a very strong impact on our lives, of course, these are the ones that we will think about first in terms of the diversity of insects. And so these are the, the insects that bug us in some kind of way, the ones that are doing things that we don't really like. As far as uh, other things that they do that we maybe don't think about so much, it's not a matter of how they, they, uh, they bother us, but the kind of services that they provide in terms of the ecosystems. Uh, there are plenty of people who work in agriculture who understand the importance of pollinators, but a lot of us who are taking advantage of what these pollinators have done, in other words, giving us the fruit by pollinating the flowers that produce the fruit. We don't think about that so much, but without uh, these, these pollinators, we wouldn't be able to enjoy a lot of the produce that we sometimes take for granted. Another important uh, role that they fill is uh, uh, dealing with all the things that we look at as trash. If you think about the, the things that they're eating, they're actually pulling all these other resources back into the system, so to speak. So you have something like dung, and then you have an insect that is actually drawing its nutrition from that. And then you have other organisms that will eat that insect, so it brings it back into, you know, these nutrients back into the system. As far as aesthetically, all you have to do is think about butterflies, how many different variations people have made on those themes of butterfly patterns of wings and fabrics and then uh, the imagery and in poetry and literature. A lot of people have appreciated that over the past hundreds of years. So maybe these guys aren't such bad pests after all. I mean, annoying sometimes, sure, but you have to admire how adaptable they are. We've learned that without insects, most animals, including us, wouldn't even survive. And it's ironic when you think about how much of the food we eat and the health of the planet depends on the world of insects. So little creatures are pretty cool. And with only 10 million of the possible 30 million species identified so far, you could help identify one too. So give it a try and never stop exploring your world. I like big bugs when I cannot fly. And arachnia can't deny. The weather flying, rolling, creeping, crawling, six legs rolls the world. Baby's got wings and occasionally sings. But if you ever wonder what's doing something really bugging you, 